everybody and good afternoon it's a little bit past one right now um it's the first time i've actually had to just say hello to you because i have boot camp from 10 to 2 today we're on a lunch break right now i'm supposed to go back in about five minutes so i just realized as i was editing the vlogmas yesterday that i didn't show you any knitting and that's because i really haven't done any i haven't really had time for knitting lately so this is as much as I've gotten done since last time you saw it. So not a whole lot there. I'm on the foot part though. I've already, the heel is going to be right here. So I'm on the foot and that's basically all I've gotten done in the past day or so. So yeah, it's, it's been crazy. We've been doing a lot of group work. So it's really, it's not really a good place to start knitting in the middle of group work that you're supposed to be obviously taking seriously and, um, brainstorming and stuff like that it's not a good situation to be knitting in so i'm hoping to share a couple more things with you later i got some fun mail that i wanted to share with you and maybe share with you some more finished objects that i have but as of for right now i will i have to get back to my boot camp i have to go get uh, something to drink and get back and um it's probably another hour and then i'm meeting with my group tomorrow morning to for a couple of hours to um, there's a lot of group work. So if you are not a fan of group work, this is not the program for you <laughs> because that's what um, UX U, UI design is. It's a lot of group work. It's a lot of brainstorming. It's a lot of trying to figure out what the user wants and using psychology, using a lot of different things to be able to do that. So we're doing some group work tomorrow morning and we have our first homework assignment is due next Saturday. So I'm going to be really busy, especially since I still have to wrap up my classes. I still have finals this coming week. So it's going to be a really challenging week, but I will leave it there. I will check in with you later. bit later in the afternoon now I wanted to show you some finished objects so these are the hats that I've been talking about for my nieces same pattern as I used for the other hats um, the super soft merino hats for everybody I think it's something like that's a long name but it's a pearl pearl Soho um, pattern and again this is holding fi fingering weight quadruple so basically what I did here is I see uh, I made two sets of hats for my nieces, I made one in once one niece is five, the other one's two. So I made no, that's a lie. One is six, the other is two. <laughs> so I made a child size and a um, toddler size. So basically, I tried to match them. Um, I ran out of yarn here, so I kind of just added another pink. So here we go. I just basically did ones that match. Um, their mom is really big on them wearing things that match, so I thought this would be great. So, and then I did these two. So those are the little hats that I made for my nieces and I'll be packaging them off and um, probably going to the post office sometime next week. So hoping to get these packaged off and ready to go. <laughs> 